In the name of the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Shrove Tuesday, Ash Wednesday, tomorrow the beginning of Lent. Um, the reading reminds us, uh, reading concerning Noah and the building of the ark, reminds us that um, we are subject to the results of what we do. If, for example, we abuse our body in various ways, we end up with damage of our body and our mind. If we abuse uh, our position with God, we end up with self-harm. And uh, But God is always there. This is the point of the ark. He, he, he'll always try and get us out if we want to. Forgive us. Help us to start again afresh. We call to mind our sins and uh, we, we put our trust in God. He will always be there um, for us. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of our sin and division. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, God for ever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord, saw, the Lord saw the wickedness of man which was great on earth and that the thoughts in his heart fashioned nothing but wickedness all day long. The Lord regretted having made man on the earth and his heart grieved. I will rid the earth's face of man, my own creation. Then the Lord said, and of the animals also, reptiles too, and the birds of heaven, for I regret having made them. But Noah had found favour with the Lord. The Lord said to Noah, Go aboard the ark, you and all your household, for you alone among this generation do I see as a good man in my judgment. Of all the clean animals, you must take seven of each kind, both male and female. Of the unclean animals, you must take two, a male and its female, and of the birds of heaven also, seven of each kind, both male and female, to propagate their kind over the whole earth. For in seven days' time, I mean to make it rain on the earth for forty days and nights, and I will rid the earth of every living thing I made. Noah did all that the Lord ordered. Seven days later, the waters of the flood appeared on the earth. The Word of the Lord. <clears throat> the Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord will bless his people with peace. O oh, give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord's voice resounding on the, on the waters, the Lord on the immensity of waters, the voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendour. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The God of glory thunders, in his temple they all cry glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood, the Lord sits as king for ever. The Lord will bless his people with peace. And we uh, proclaim the gospel now with the acclamation, the last alleluia for some time. Ah, alleluia, ah, alleluia, ah, alleluia. 
Open our hearts, O Lord, to accept the words of your Son. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. <clears throat> The disciples had forgotten to take any food, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. Then Jesus gave them this warning, Keep your eyes open, be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and the yeast of Herod. And they said to one another, It is because we have no bread. And Jesus knew it, and he said to them, Why are you talking about having no bread? Do you not yet understand? Have you seen no, have you no perception? Are your minds closed? Have you eyes that do not see, ears that do not hear? Or do you not remember, when I broke the five loaves among the five thousand, how many baskets full of scraps did you collect? They answered, Twelve. And when I broke the seven loaves for four thousand, how many basket full of scraps do you collect? Did, did you collect? And they answered, Seven. Then he said to them, Are you still without perception? The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Our Lord tells off his apostles for being without perception, not seeing uh, what he's meaning behind the acts that he did. I mean, they should have been saying, How marvellous! He's fed 5,000 and 4,000 on another occasion. Surely this, he must be a special person, rather than saying, oh, he fed everybody, but we've only got one loaf now, we're a bit hungry. Get the point. Our Lord is saying, look, look at the meaning of things, what our Lord means. Don't be so shallow as to be totally, um, in, in a sense, materialist. We do work through material things. God knows that. That's why we have the wafer of bread and the wine. We have to have seeable, touchable things to bring his presence to us in the Eucharist. But that, that's, the point is this though, it's not the bread and the wine, but the presence of God that's important, that comes to us in this privileged way. And uh, so on. So we pray that during this Lent we will be able to dig deeper in our faith, maybe an opportunity, a time when you know, we're still a little bit under restriction and lockdown, when we can really think our faith and say, goodness, if you dig below the surface, what a treasure we have that nobody can take away from us. We pray that we'll do that. Lord, hear us. <coughs> We pray for all of those who, in, the, in, in this world, uh, are saddened or disconsolate. Things haven't worked out in the way they planned. We pray that they will find, underneath that, the stream of God's love, the stream of God's plan for them, and be heartened. Lord, hear us. And finally, uh, we pray for our own particular petitions, knowing that God always listens uh, to the prayers we make for ourselves, but also for other people particularly. So I pause and we can add those prayers. I celebrate this Mass for the happy repose of the soul of Veronica Jones. We think of other people perhaps who have died. Lord, we come to you knowing that you are a real presence in our life, knowing that you are the spirit behind this world. Do grant all that is good. We thank you for listening to us, you who live and reign forever and ever. <clears throat>
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me, from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs, in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. <clears throat> Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, <clears throat> 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Veronica, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. <clears throat> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. <coughs> and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress <coughs> as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I invite you to make a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for the food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> uh, I remind you, tomorrow, Ash Wednesday, uh, we will uh, celebrate the Mass without the public, but uh, you will uh, be left with a marked card, marked with the ashes, which will be left in our boxes outside the church for you to take and to keep beside you uh, with the theme, of course, Repent and Believe the Good News, which we'll uh, think about during Lent. And just as importantly, <clears throat> we begin Masses again with the public present, experimentally, this coming Sunday, <clears throat> nine o'clock at Grange, alone, at St. Charles Grange. It'll be widened out if um, this experiment seems to be successful and people feel able to come back <clears throat> to our other churches the next Sunday. Do book. Uh, as always, we have difficulties with our small church. We don't want to turn people away if we're full. All safety procedures will be followed. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.